All right, welcome back to another video. And this one just kind of came about as a result of me updating one of my computers. So I happen to be using what is known as a Dell Latitude. Here it is. We'll zoom in here and we'll figure out what the name of it is. It's a Dell Latitude E5410. And you know, I decided, hey, I'm gonna do an update on this. It runs Windows 10. I'm getting a little bit of an effect on my screen there, but if I go close enough, it seems to go away. Anywho, it uh, is running Windows 10. <clears throat> but um, something weird happened. After an update, strangely enough, suddenly, the system was not um, picking up the, um, or wasn't turning off. Let me just hang on a second here. Let's see if I can crank up the, okay, that's the brightest it gets. Okay, sorry about that, I was just adjusting that. Um, yeah, so basically after updating this crazy thing, I, uh, I couldn't get it to shut off. I would, I hit like restart and it would just kind of go into the lock screen. It looked like it was going to reboot and then it wouldn't. And I tried to shut it down and it wouldn't, it would just be stuck on the lock screen. And so I'd have to like hard, hard reset the system. I was pressing the power button until it kind of turned off in, you know, inappropriately. So, you know, data loss, good way to have data loss. Anyway, so. So that was what was going on. So I had to do some research and I'll get, get, I'll kind of just give you guys the cliff notes of what, what it actually it is and how to fix it. So if you encounter that with any of your, um, your systems, typically it affects systems that used to be Windows 7. Um, <clears throat> this also happened to me uh, with a, a desktop computer. It was an Asus motherboard uh, in a desktop system. What you gotta do, is go to your power. So I usually, usually just put in power. Oops. I usually just punch in power. You can go to power and sleep settings. Once you get there, you scroll down where it says advanced power settings. That'll open up this little box here. And what you want to do is go to choose. Um, choose what the power buttons do. Click on that. Then you look down here and there's a bunch of special options for shutting down. In order to activate those, you have to go up here and say change settings that are current. And then you go here. And this is the one you want to click on, which says turn on fast startup. Nope. Don't turn on fast startup. Go down here, save changes, and that will fix the problem. So if you are encountering a situation where your computer will not shut down, you can go through those steps. You can find, um, oops, let me shut that off. You can find the, <coughs> those settings. And as soon as you make that one little change, your system will shut down. So there you go. I don't know why I'm getting, this is not how my screen looks in real life. So I guess the refresh rate is funking up my, my, uh, my phone. This is a first because I don't, you don't usually get that with uh, laptop screens. But anyway, sorry guys for the weird effect going on there. But anyway, this is for a particular laptop, a Latitude, E5410 running Windows 10, if that's what you're having trouble shutting down, well, once you make that adjustment, you can hit that, hit that, hit shut down, and it does shut down. If you don't, what'll happen is <coughs> you'll be dumped at the uh, lock screen. It'll look like this, it'll look like, oh, it's shutting down, and it'll just get stuck at the old lock screen. It won't just black out. So uh, that's my my computer tip of the day. 
Um, the next challenge I have to work out is apparently there's a Windows 10 update, security update that isn't, oh, see it turned off, um, that isn't, um, it isn't installing, it's kind of crashing and, well it isn't crashing, it just kind of goes, you know, it doesn't crash the system, it just basically won't install. And then it says error and some code and retry at a later date or something. So I guess Microsoft's beta testing us all again. Um, but anyhow, um, I thought I'd share this with you because I thought it was a useful little tip if you do encounter this weird situation where you can't seem to turn off your computer. This is a way you can get around that problem. So there you go.